Hello everyone, welcome to Nicole Time Cooking. Today I will be preparing for you pineapple salmon. This will be an interesting recipe I know you all will enjoy. Let's get into my ingredients that I'm going to be using today to prepare my pineapple salmon. Look how thick and juicy my salmon is. That vibrant color. Over here I have some string beans, sweet pepper, garlic. Over here I have this deluxe pineapple slice. The rest are the spices, my usual. Some Old Bay season, some cayenne pepper and seafoods blend season. I will be using also a piece of ginger with this recipe. You know that ginger contains good health benefits, so I never leave out my ginger and garlic in whatever meal I'm preparing. This is my salmon, nice and thick. Now, I will be mixing with this soy sauce some ginger that I grated earlier. Then I'm going to be adding some spice into this bowl with ginger that I've grated. Then I'm going to be spreading it over my salmon to marinate. Let's begin. First, I'm going to be going in with some paprika. Not too much, just enough to give your salmon that color while it's in the air fryer. Since we're not going to be frying our fish today. Today, I'm going to try to go very small on these spices. Next, we're going to be going in with some seafood blend season. Remember, we're trying to narrow in all our spices to the most important one that's going to give our salmon the best flavor ever. Next, we're going to be going in with some garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder is good enough. I will be adding some liquid to this spices so I can get it more liquefied. Well, it's not really that important. I can just massage the spices all over the fish, so I'm not worried about that. Let's get back to the spices. Now let's go in with some cayenne pepper. I like my salmon a little spicy, so I'm going to be going in with half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Also, cayenne pepper contains good health benefits. For your body now it's that time to add my favorite spice of all time old bay season my number one seafood season and meat season now i'm going to be going in with a pinch of black pepper last but not least some parsley flakes I'm going to be adding to my salmon together with my ginger and soy sauce. Now I'm going to be adding a little lemon juice to help liquefy. Remember, you can either use your hands to distribute the paste over your salmon or you can brush it on. I'm going to be doing both. The most important thing is to get your salmon well seasoned so your spices can soak into your salmon. To Two to three hours after salmon marinate, start placing pineapple on the air fryer tray. Add six circles of pineapple. Then after, I will be placing my salmon on top of my pineapples. Early on, I did cut some sweet pepper which I'm going to be placing in the center of my pineapple circle before I place my salmon in my air fryer. Now I'm finished placing all these sweet peppers on my salmon and garlic. My next step is placing my salmon in my air fryer. Thank you. 
the air frying time for the salmon will be 20 to 25 minutes so in no time we will have a ready to eat pineapple salmon as you can see i can view my salmon through the air fryer because i turn my lights on so i can keep a little eye on it but i don't have to worry about that because i set a timer and my timer is 20 minutes but still i need to apply my pineapple juice on my salmon at a certain time i'm now 16 minutes into air frying my salmon it's that time to add my pineapple juice i will be brushing on my pineapple juice all over my salmon this is to help to get it more moist and have that nice pineapple taste into it after i finish applying my pineapple juice over my salmon i'm gonna start preparing my pineapple sauce let's place my salmon in my air fryer again for another few minutes till i'm finished preparing my sauce to distribute over my salmon mm -hmm. first i'm gonna add some butter with some olive oil then i'm gonna add some garlic to the pot with some sweet pepper let sweet pepper sit with garlic for a few minutes before adding any sauce stir and let it caramelize for a few minutes now i'll be adding my pineapple into my frying pan so it can fry with my sweet pepper and garlic with this sauce i'm going to also be using the juice from my pineapple this is going to help give my salmon that nice pineapple taste now i'm trying to caramelize my pineapple with my sweet pepper and pineapple juice so I can extract that sweetness into my sauce. Add a little ketchup to add a little flavor to your pineapple. You can add a little salt, a little black pepper. If you want to add a little spice, go ahead. It's your call. All I know, I'm going to be hooking my pineapple sauce up. All done. Ready to apply to my salmon. My pineapple salmon is ready to apply sauce brush sauce spread sauce whatever you want to do just get it on leave in the air fryer for another three minutes here you have it my pineapple salmon ready looking juicy and delicious I hope you all enjoy my recipe don't forget to subscribe like and leave your comments down below.